Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we have a long-term review of the Razer PC Fan Controller Hub. All right, I've been testing this thing out for probably two months now. It's 100% been at least 45 days. It might be 60 days now that this thing has been inside my PC build and has been controlling a total of 10 fans. I've set up a custom fan curve using the Razer Synapse free software, which you can see right here. When my PC is not doing anything, I don't want the fans at 100% speed. I don't think anyone does because they're going to be pretty damn loud all the time. So instead, as long as the CPU is below 50 degrees Celsius, the fans are going to be at 33% speed or between 600 and 700 RPM in my case. However, if I'm rendering a video, running Cinebench, just doing anything that is CPU intensive and my CPU temperature climbs to, let's say, 80 degrees Celsius, then all of the fans inside of my PC will ramp up and hit 100% fan speed. Right, so the max RPM according to the Razer software is around 1800 RPM. If I'd always have it on 100% fan speed, my god is it loud and <laughs> I wouldn't want to be near the PC for very long unless I'm wearing headphones and I'm blasting like very loud music or just listening to something. So having a fan curve feature is lovely and that is most likely the way you're going to be using this thing if you also buy it. Now, speaking of buying this device right here, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below, of course, to where you can check the pricing in your own country because this device might be on sale when you're watching this video. It wasn't on sale when I bought it because it had pretty much just been released. It's probably important to say why would you even want an external PC fan controller in the first place? Which is a valid question because most people, if you have a PC build of some sort, unless it's like a laptop or something, then you have most likely plugged all of your PC case fans into your motherboard's PWM fan headers and then you are able to most likely set up a custom fan curve through your motherboard's fan software or your motherboard software of some sorts or even in the BIOS you can set up a custom fan curve you know. Two months ago I was using MSI's Dragon Center software because I am on an MSI motherboard and the custom fan curves feature it worked sometimes. Uh, keyword sometimes. Several times I was like running Cinebench or just rendering a video doing something that was very CPU intensive. My CPU was climbing up in temperature and the fans were not climbing up in RPM to try to reduce the CPU temperature. Instead they just stayed at their lowest setting, they're on vacation, they're chilling. Meanwhile my CPU is at 90 degrees Celsius and the custom fan curve I've set up it's not doing anything. And that is basically what was happening with MSI's Dragon Center software two months ago. I should also mention that if you are currently using an MSI motherboard, MSI have actually released a new version of MSI Dragon Center. Instead of it being called Dragon Center, it's now just called MSI Center. I have since deleted Dragon Center and everything to do with it and installed MSI Center and I must say, way better software. But to make a long story short, yeah, the MSI Dragon Center software was pretty much not working for me. The custom fan curves weren't doing anything. So I'm like, all right, Razer had just come out with their PC fan controller hub. Let me try that out. So I bought this thing myself, 50 whole pound this thing will set you back at the time of recording this video, of course. The price might be cheaper in your own country or at the time you're watching. So check the links in the description down below in case you want to go look at the pricing at the time you're watching this video, would recommend as well download the Keeper app so you can see the price history of anything on Amazon. Also link in the description down below. Pro tips right here, pro tips. I have many suggestions that I'm gonna suggest to Razer that I really hope they implement because this could be a really good product. Just as good as their previous PC component which was their Razer Chroma ARGB hub. This is a brilliant device. If you have any 3-pin 5-volt addressable RGB devices inside of your PC, whether they are fans, an ARGB, anti-sag, GPU brackets, LED light strips, any 3-pin 5-volt device, if you plug it into this Chroma controller hub, you actually have per LED control of every single LED. I can show you this through their software. This is their studio page and we actually have per LED control. If I set half of these to red, you're gonna see that reflected. Half my fans switch to red and only half of the fan, of course. 
So it is really good that you actually have per LED control. I actually don't know any other third party controller that can do this. So Razer, you did a brilliant job with their ARGB hub. With this PC fan controller hub from Razer, I really think it can be improved so much more. The way I've set up my own custom fan curve is I've simply pressed link to pretty much make just one master fan curve for every fan that is plugged into the device. Because they allow individual fan curves, all right, so we could make this one something completely different, right? And we could make this one something completely different as well, and it's gonna remember that, okay, which is great. What I think would be a really cool feature is if you could select let's say this fan curve right here. And instead of the temperature being linked to your CPU, let's say like I'm trying to control the three bottom fans of my PC build. I want these to actually be linked to my GPU temperature because they are blowing cold air into my GPU. And then let's say the fans on the side right here to only react to my CPU temperature. Yes, it's like a mini little feature, but I feel like little things like that would make this product a lot more worth the ridiculous price tag. Because at the moment, I mean, yeah, it, it, it does its job. You can set custom fan curves, eight custom fan curves in total, cool. But I feel like there just needs to be so much more. Another suggestion I had is instead of just having a performance tab up here in the top left, we should also maybe have like a graphs tab as well, where you can look at your RAM temperature, your M.2 drive temperature, your CPU temperature, your GPU temperature, just a bunch of temperatures have like the, the temperatures there on like a separate page or even on the same page. Why not? Uh, allow us to actually see temperatures. This thing could be a really good product, but I feel like the software experience needs to be so much better. Like if there is anything that you would like to see in the Razer PWM PC fan controller, leave a comment, leave a suggestion down below in the comments. And I hope Razer watches this video. I'm gonna send Razer this video and I'm gonna ask them to please look at the comments and look at the suggestions from the community. At the moment, at the amount of money it costs, it's a hard product to recommend, especially because of one major problem that I myself seem to be having with just Razer Synapse in general. Whenever I start up my PC, Razer Synapse is set as a startup application. Here it is, Razer Synapse 3 enabled. Now I've just actually reinstalled the software entirely because it was crashing on me and having a bunch of problems. So I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna do a fresh install. So even after doing that, unfortunately, when you actually start your PC up, Razer Synapse does not start up. And because it does not start up, your custom fan curve that you set up goes out the window. It, it doesn't exist anymore. That's a problem, as you can imagine, because you might not realize that Synapse hasn't started up. After all, like you set it as a startup application, you would expect that when you start your PC, it's gonna be running and your custom fan profile is also gonna be active, but it isn't all the time which is a big problem. At the moment, if I run Cinebench, we're gonna see the CPU temperatures climb up to maybe even 90 degrees Celsius. But luckily, I know for a fact that the fans are gonna ramp up, like Synapse is actually running right now. So yeah, as you can hear, the fans are most definitely ramping up. I can feel the wind coming from the PC right now. Everything is working as expected, great. Happy days. But it's not always like this, um, sometimes, you'd run Cinebench or you'd be doing some intensive CPU task, your CPU is hitting rather high degrees and your fan curve that you've set up through Razer Synapse isn't doing anything because Synapse couldn't start itself up. Like it genuinely has this problem. There is a way that Razer could have maybe worked around this rather big problem in my opinion. Instead of relying for Synapse to always be on, what if, now this is gonna sound like a crazy idea man, what if this thing had onboard storage and you could save even just one profile on board, which could be your auto fan curve. Imagine that. That would be amazing. If you could just save one profile on board this device, then even if Synapse is completely broken and doesn't start up, you know that your PC isn't gonna overheat. That would be amazing. But I don't know if this thing has onboard storage.
If it does, Razer, please, please release that update and allow us to do that. Or just like make sure that the default profile that has been applied once just stays on all the time without Synapse because man, that's a bit of a worrying problem, isn't it? Uh, but to end this video, let me show the device itself behind my PC build. So excuse the horrific cable management back here. I have 10 fans and they have 1 million cables each. So that is why everything looks so bad here. But this is the Razer fan controller itself. On each side, we have four four pin PWM fan headers. As you can see, I have a total of four already populated on the other side. The device itself is pretty slim. I like the design of it. It's um, minimalistic, very simple. I'm a fan. There are also two cables that plug into the device itself. One of them is micro USB, this one right here. And that one plugs into your motherboard's internal USB headers. So to quickly summarize, micro USB to internal motherboard USB header. And then finally, we have DC power, which plugs into the device to of course make all of the fans spin and give them power. So we have SATA power to DC power into the fan hub, and then micro USB from the fan hub into your motherboard's internal USB header. Apart from that though, that is pretty much everything about the device covered. One final thing though, I'm gonna mention just before we end today's video is a very important thing I recommend everyone sets up if you end up buying this fan hub, and that is custom fan hub profiles. So if I mouse over my Razer central icon and this pops up, I can quickly go to from auto, which is my fan curve setting to max, and you're gonna hear the fans ramp up real quick and then look how easy it is to switch from max to auto or to any other setting that you saw there. Now it's back on auto. But that is literally everything about today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope Razer make this device considerably better by improving the software experience and please fix Razer Synapse and make it actually start up as a startup application. Please. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video soon. Goodbye.